So I'm here with Darren Churchill from Apnea Seal. And Darren, lots of my patients have trouble with their CPAP mask, finding it just doesn't quite fit, and they try lots of different masks. Mm. And you've got a solution for that problem. So what is it? Yeah, we do indeed. Thank you. Um, yeah, we did quite a lot of research into the sleep apnea market and found ourselves that non-compliance was indeed very high. And we, as a company, started to scratch a little further and see, was there a way that we could evolve a technology that enabled us to provide a custom solution on mass. Uh, there's been a number of folk and companies that have tried in the past, yep. in the past to develop a, a custom solution and, and, and through manual methods like plaster and alginate type plaster casting you can do that but it's very difficult to be able to provide that to the masses at a reasonable price. So we studied a number of technologies that enabled us to see whether or not one we could get the level of accuracy that was required yep. to be able to make a custom mask yep. that would fit well, that would seal well, that would be really comfortable and provide real benefits to the patient and then whether we had the ability to do that on scale. Yeah. So we developed uh, in time a photogrammetry mm -hmm. procedure that enabled us to take a very accurate and easy capture of the patient's nasal area to be able to move that through the technology gateways to, to then produce what's known as an apnea seal. Mm -hmm. So behind you here there is a, a photogrammetry studio uh, which is the methodology we choose to use to capture the patient's details and quite simply it's just a, a series of photographs that are taken and those photographs convert through to a point cloud and then through a couple of different software programs that we've developed through to a, a CAD file and then to a printed product. And, and what happens with that product? How does that work with the patient's existing mask? So I guess key to us, success was not necessarily manufacturing and designing our own mask, but for the patient, most of them, particularly the non-compliant patients, they already have a mask, or in many instances they have four or five masks. And I guess for us that, that became evident through a lot of trial and we did with an initial patient group, and we found that it wasn't uncommon for a patient to have up to four or five masks that they had been trialling to try and become compliant, and yet they were still failing. Um, and one of the most common issues was, was uh, air leakage up into the eyes. Um, a number leak in different places but up into the eyes seems to cause um, considerable problems for the patient. Um, so we thought if we could design an adapter that fit with existing sleep apnea masks that was probably a better solution for the patient because it would be more cost effective, one, and secondly we weren't necessarily then going head to head with what you could call our competitors because our, our patients would still need to buy a mask if they were newly diagnosed um, or, or they would still have a mask from one of those competitor players. So for us we thought if we could design design something that had the ability to work with existing masks that was better for the market and easier for us as well. And what's the, the flow? So if somebody says, yep, yeah, like this idea, I want to look into it, yeah. what should they do? Yeah. They simply book in for what we call a facial capture, which is the process that involves this particular studio here. Yeah. Um, once we know exactly what type of mask the patient uses or would like to use, whether it be a pillow or whether it be a nasal or whether it be a full face mask, then we uh, book them in for a simple facial capture, which takes about 15 minutes of yeah. the patient's time. Um, and then the patients go away, um, our engineers go to work and then take that through the, um, the design and production gateways. We come out with a device that looks something like this, yep. the patient comes back in for a fitting, about a 15 minute process and then off they go. It's right. as simple as that. And what's the ballpark cost that people should expect? Mm. Between four and five hundred dollars end to end is the cost to the patient, and that's inclusive of a money back guarantee if we can't get it right. Um, our belief is being a custom technology, we need to stand behind our product. Um, so uh, a money back guarantee if we can't get it right for the patient. And certainly people will spend that amount of money on multiple CPAP masks at two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollars a mask. You pretty quickly are spending more than that. Yeah. The major players um, average mask price is about two hundred and eighty. So, so I agree, you know, two masks and you have one of these adapters. And, and, and the reality is too that, that whilst we haven't proven out the life of these yet, it's highly likely that they will last for many years, we believe. So the replacement cost for the patient down the track in a highly you know, unrebated market within Australia is such that this should also become cost effective for the patient as well. Great. Thanks a lot, Darren. You're most welcome. Thank you. For the A to Z of sleeping well, head to the hub sleephub.com.au